Hey yo, Stoic here. Hey, welcome to the Bedrock Guide. In this tutorial, we're going to be making a small guardian farm. We're going to be utilizing minecarts to convey these guardians into the Trident Killer as fast as possible. This gets us rates of 0 to 30 levels in 4 minutes and 30 seconds and can get you up to 83 levels in 1 hour. You can pull in about 33 stacks of fish, 63 stacks of prismarine shards, and 30 stacks of prismarine crystals. Let's talk materials for this farm. So we're going to need 12 stacks of solid blocks to block off the guardian spawn points. And you need about six stacks of glass. That's if you want to see the guardians going up the bubble column. If you don't, you can use solid blocks as well. And then we're going to need some six activator rails, an infinite water source. Good thing we're in an ocean. You can just use that. You need six levers, two soul sand, two dirt. Lots of kelp here for our bubble column. Four buttons, one stair, four observers, four powered rails, four pistons, six chests, five hoppers, three rails, one minecart with hopper, 32 slabs. You can use glass if you want. Most of these will be used to cover up the guardian spawn points. Six minecarts, 32 ladders so we can get up and down because you're probably going to fall into that ocean a couple times. And then you're going to want to have looting three if you want a lot more loot. And I would definitely recommend having two tridents with at least impaling three. You can have up to five on there. But the higher the level, the faster you'll kill your monsters, which means you'll have better rates. All right. So the first thing you need to do is find an ocean monument. They're going to be in deep oceans, lukewarm oceans, even cold ones. They can be under ice. I've seen that happen before, too. But once you get here, there's going to be guardians popping in everywhere to help protect this monument. So the first thing we have to do is make sure you've got some night vision potions, some underwater breathing potions. And tridents are actually really helpful in this, especially if you've got impaling enchantment on it. Once you get here, you're probably going to get hit by mining fatigue. So that way you can't just... You know, dig your way into this monument, you're going to have to navigate your way through it. Unless you've got some TNT. I think you can break this stuff with TNT. But you're going to have to find the front entrance here, swim in, go through the maze. Every one of these things is made a little bit differently. And you're just going to have to find all three of these guardians. All right, here's one of our guardians. Usually there's two on the very bottom along the outside edge. And you just got to go to town on it and beat it up. It's always like a boss. This last one's up in the top of this thing, and you just, it's too big to really move around, but you still got to be careful because they do pack a punch. Once you get all of these things cleared, you're ready to start on this farm. Once we've gotten rid of our elder guardians inside of our ocean monument, we now have to spawn proof this area because these guardians actually get pretty pesky in here. They, they really like to fight, so we've got to make sure when we're building this, they only spawn where we want them. To do that, we need to figure out which way is north. There's a couple of different ways to do it. You can just watch the sunrise. That's east, so we know that's north. The other great thing about the prismarine in here is that if you look at it, there's like this tuning fork on here, and it's always going to point north. These prismarine blocks will point north. They always do. And so we know we can check that because the sun's rising. And... That means that's north, so that's north. Now, we need to figure this out because on the northwest corner, we're going to start figuring out where our guardian spawn points are. So the first thing we can do is just come down here, and we can find the northwest corner, which is over here. We go one, two, three, and this is our starting point. And we want to dig all the way down in until we find gravel, bedrock, or not bedrock, stones or something along those lines. And then we can come up and pillar up just like this. So we're going to go all the way up until we get just above the ocean line. So that's our first pillar. Now we've got 24 more to go. And I'm going to put a little pattern in to show you where every spawn point is. And just for an example, I know that the next one's going to be 10 blocks in the east direction. So if we come down here, we go 10 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we skip one. We don't skip it. We don't put it on the 10th one. We put it on the 11th. Come all the way down. 
and then we can pillar all the way up and we're going to be blocking these positions from our guardians. Now this isn't going to be easy because these guardians are still out here floating around. You can see there's a lot of them right now. They're all going to be trying to attack you if you get too close. So you just have to pick away at them and pick away at these columns as you go. But let me put the image on right now. So you can see I put a big N up there for north just so I don't make any mistakes moving forward. But you can also see that we've got the, all the columns in place here based off the map. And you can see that there's still a couple of guardians down in the water still. So we're, you just need to go in there, take care of them because they will not help your, uh, your rates if they're swimming around outside your farm. So let's go ahead and take care of all of those. And once you've done that, you can probably swim away and come back and see if any new ones have spawned. If that's the case then you probably don't have all of the columns in the right spot. We've officially spawn-proofed everything, so now we're going to come over to the north east. We know that that's east because the sun was rising, and we can check that it's setting in the west. So we got the northeast corner right over here, and we're going to start building some bubble columns. All right, let's jump in the water. We're going to be using this northeast corner and then the one just south of it, so right on the edge here, you just one behind. We're going to start with this one right here. So we're going to go one, two, three, and then we're going to put a piece of dirt in on the fourth one. We're going to do the same thing on this column over here. So one, two, three, and then on the fourth one is the dirt. Go ahead and grab some glass and put some glass one, two, three, one, two, three, all the way around these yellow blocks or solid blocks, whatever ones you're using for your column right now. We're going to do that for the other column as well. All right, let's come over to our northeast corner. Northeast, the sun is rising, and we're going to put in a couple more glass blocks over here just because we need a little bit of a platform to jump up on and then climb up into our farm. So what we're going to do now is grab some solid blocks, and we're going to go up to Y82. So you can just hop on up here and go all the way up. All right, once you're up here, we can go ahead and jump back down, <laughs> and then we can put in a ladder on that same column. Once you've done that, now we've got access all the way up. Let's go ahead and bring these three glass blocks columns all the way up to the same level. With each of our columns in place will go from into the east. You can see the sun is rising right now. We'll go one, two, just like that, kind of a little turn. And now we can put in a little bit more of a platform right here. So we can come out one, two, three, four, five. And then we can just kind of fill this in just like this and come up. Out. And actually, we can make our way just like that little stairway down off of the side of our column. And we can do the same thing right here to help with our storage. So we'll go ahead and put those in. So let's go ahead and put in our chest. So one, two, just like that. You can see that we're right off the edge, just one block away from our, our ladder. And put in another one just like that, and then another one just like this. From our side, then, we can break this stuff out a little bit, put in a Hopper, make sure it's pointing into that chest. Same deal right here. You can put it in right there. If you don't feel comfortable walking around, go ahead and put these glass blocks right back in. From here, we want to go ahead and place in two hoppers right on top. Yep, we're just working on our trident killer. Pretty typical for stoic here. And then we're going to go ahead and grab three rails. One, two, three. Makes a curve. Get rid of those two right there. And then go ahead and put in your minecart with hopper right on top. From this location, we'd probably just come up just like this. Make sure you don't bump that minecart with hopper. It's in a great spot for collection. We're going to go ahead and enclose that area just like that. Come all the way around so we don't bump it. The next thing we can do is we can go ahead and you can see we got a little bit of an overhang. We'll go out one more block just like that. Grab some solid blocks and we're going to go one, two, three, four. Grab your ladder, climb on, on top of this. We'll put in one more just like that and put a fourth ladder in in that location. From here, we can go ahead and put in 16 blocks. I like that. 16, just like this, where we've got our trident killer. You can see that this is going to be our AFK position moving forward. So what we're going to do then is grab our pistons, start placing them right here. That way we can get our slab in place right there. That way the XP falls right out. From here, we're going to go one, two, and then place one. One, two, place another. And then one, two, and place our final one right there. What we're going to do, want to do now is place in a stair opposite of that slab, just like that. Then we can place in solid blocks all the way around. Before we get any higher, let's go ahead and grab our 
water bucket. Fill this in. This is what's going to make our impaling enchantments work with our tridents. So we're going to need some water in here, and we just need a little bit. Okay, from here, let's go ahead and grab our powered rails. Put them all the way around just like that. Then from this position, we can put in an observer so that the face is facing the powered rail and the red dot is facing the piston. We're just going to go all the way around just like this. You can jump up here, and we just need solid blocks on top of each one of these pistons now. And the last thing for this trident killer, let's throw in a couple tridents. Okay, before we move any further, it's always good to test some things out. Go ahead and throw a lever right there. Switch it down. Switch it back on. We know this thing's working. Okay, we can turn this thing off. Make your way down your ladder, back down to your first ladder. And then what we're going to do from here is just going to block up on each one of these. And we're going to pull them all the way up so that they're even with this observer right here. So go ahead and bring them all the way up, just like that. And if you really wanted to, uh, you can go ahead and put some ladders in all the way up here. Let's go ahead and do that just for the tutorial. Because you know what? I feel like I, I would be falling off this thing all the time knowing that I've got water down below. So all the way up and we're in a good spot. So one of the first things we're going to do is put in an activator rail just like this. And guess what? It's in the perfect position just to toss guardians in. And because guardians are a little bit bigger, they get once they flow up high enough, they're going to get caught and thrown right through. And one of the other cool things is that they'll go right through glass when that happens. So what we can do is just bring it up just like this on this side. And then what we can do then is also bring it up one more just like that. And the plan then is to grab a solid block to create kind of a covered position. These guardians are cave spawns. They're not surface spawns. So they're always going to be cave because they're associated with an ocean, ocean monument or a building, similar to how wither skeletons are associated with a fortress. They are going to be cave spawns. So we don't have to worry about tri uh, the, the drowns interrupting some of our spawns, our spawn counts. So yeah, but to, to make things go a little faster, we can put a little bit of a block right there and they should spawn a lot faster once we get this thing uncovered at the bottom. All right, from here, let's go ahead and let's put one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then right on top of that powered rail, we can put one in as well. Go ahead and grab a cart, put it right there. We don't want to forget about it later. Once we hit that switch and this thing, well, let's just go hit it right now. You can see that it's making its circuit. Anytime the circuit comes around, it's just going to throw it in. So yeah, we're looking good right there. Okay, because we don't want to forget about this thing a little bit later, let's go ahead and break that block. Put in a button right here, and then put in another button right there. So that way the guardians think there's something to step on, and there really isn't, so they're just going to fall right in. Same with this one, because we're going to go out to our next column here in a second. Those buttons are in place. Let's get ready to go down here. Let's just jump down to our second column, the one we got prepped. And we're going to make our way up to Y89 on each of these columns. So bring them all the way up. Each of those columns are in place. And now we can grab some solid blocks. We're going to the north. You can see we got the north right there. And then we're going to come out by one, two, and then bring it over. And then we'll put another one in right here. So you can see that we're going to have a rail right there, a rail right here. And then we're going to jump out one more and bring it over to the side. And from here, we can make our way all the way over to our trident killer, just like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And this should put us in this position right here. From here, we can grab our activator rails. And you can see that we'll end up right next to our trident killer. You're going to have to put in some temporary blocks. You can put them in on any side that you want, just like this. And we're going to need to reorient these rails sure that you're breaking the one that's on that's the temporary block here and now they're all facing in the correct direction you need to make sure that they're going to be powered so to do that we're going to just come off to the side and power them up just like this this last one you can power on the, on the east side this last one's a little tricky so we're going to have to build this up a little bit bring it up one 
one, two, three above, and then we'll place in a glass block right above it. Put a lever in right there, and that will power the block right there. Putting in a switch anywhere else will energize parts of the Trident Killer that we don't want to energize. And yep, this is the safest spot for it. From here, let's come back over to this location. We're going to build things up a little bit just by one. Before we move too far, we can go ahead and put in a button right here. This will prevent any water from spilling into our, our platform. We're just going to outline this all the way across until we make it to our Trident Killer. So let's go ahead and put in one layer just like this, back and forth. Make sure you can walk on it. If you can't walk on it, then they can't move through in most cases. From here, we're just going to go ahead and put in another layer right on top, what we put in. and put a block in on top of that and we're going to put in a solid block on top of the spawn point from here we're ready to put in our line cards after that let's go ahead and cover it up don't want them jumping out in case there's a little bit of a pile up put all those in come back over to your trident killer on this side and we just need to close this thing up now so we can put in some blocks just like that over top and we're fully enclosed. Trident Killer is in there and we're pretty much ready for this thing to start. Let's come back over to our other spawn location. Let's go ahead and break that. Let's place in our water bucket even with the button so that the water goes all the way down. Grab your kelp and start swimming. You can actually jump all the way out if you wanted to, but you can come in here, break these until you find the dirt that we placed earlier and swim all the way back up as fast as you can. So you get to the top. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and fill that in with a solid block and enclose this right here as well. Come back to your trident or your AFK position. Let's turn this thing on. Because once we get this next stuff on or completed, these, these guardians are gonna start moving. Come on down to the water. And what we can do from here is just break the dirt. That will send up a lot of the kelp. We've got solid blocks all the way up, or solid source blocks all the way up inside. Once we put the soul sand in, we should see the bubble columns start to activate. Come over to this side as well. We break that. Kelp goes up. We can put in our soul sand. There goes our bubble column right there. Once we start climbing away from these soul sand locations and up to our AFK position, we're going to start seeing some guardians. So let's make our way up. Hey, I'm up here, and right away, we've got some guardians moving right into our Trident Killer. They're they're enjoying the ride in there. You can just hear them, see how happy they are, and we're just gra gathering the XP right away. And you can see also that we're going to be collecting a whole bunch of loot as soon as these things make their way in. Make sure you've got your looting three sword on to get the most shards, crystals, and fish that you can. And yeah, this thing is great. All right, thanks everyone for joining me on this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. It was a lot of fun learning about these guardians. But this one's fun because you get a lot of XP, a lot of loot. And if you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button. You leave some comments as well. And if you want to see some new content when it comes out, hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.